Sunday marked the two-year anniversary of Justice League hitting theaters, but it also meant something else for fans of Zack Snyder as major actors from both DC and Marvel chimed in. On my world, it means hope. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with the latest on hashtag release the Snyder Cuts movement, as the fans who are single-handedly keeping the Vero app alive had a great day of support on Sunday, November 17th. First of all, let's point out that despite the toxic few who like to harass fans of other things on social media, the majority of the release the Snyder Cut bunch is full of enthusiastic and passionate fans who are trying to make a difference not only with the movie, but in the real world. At New York Comic Con, the movement pulled off a fundraiser to get a release the Snyder Cut billboard in Times Square, also donating a huge portion of the money they raised to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So leave your negativity at the door. The fans have been adamant on social media using hashtag release the Snyder Cut and getting more than 771,000 tweets with the hashtag on social media on Sunday. As seen in this chart, one spike came from fans getting louder on Justice League's second birthday, and the other came when some major cast members chimed in. First, Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot, wrote hashtag release the Snyder Cut with a black and white image of herself as Diana. Then, the big one, Justice League's Ben Affleck drops the tweet, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Other cast members chimed in as well, such as Cyborg actor Ray Fisher and Aquaman star Jace Momoa sharing Gal Gadot's post on his Instagram story with the caption, We want the Snyder Cut. Only Henry Cavill and Ezra Miller have remained quiet, but given the black and white photos coming from everyone recently, it would suggest there's some sort of joint plan here among the cast and Zack Snyder himself. Despite all of the Snyder Cut buzz creating 8 billion impressions worth of reach on Twitter, Warner Brothers still says they have no immediate plans on releasing Zack Snyder's version of the movie. Still, we're hoping that the studio might take a page from Disney Plus when they launch HBO Max and have an extra section attached to Justice League, with one of those extras being the Snyder Cut. It's no doubt a tough spot for WB. They're trying to move forward with new properties that seem to be acting completely free of influence of Zack Snyder's work in the DC Universe. Not only is a whole new Batman trilogy on the way with Robert Pattinson in the part, but other DC films set in this DCEU like Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 84, and The Suicide Squad don't seem to have any interest in connecting to the past. If WB is looking to put the past away, they wouldn't get much out of releasing the Snyder Cut other than some HBO Max subscriptions. But since people like Jason Momoa and Kevin Smith have claimed to have seen the cut, something definitely exists and it wouldn't require all that much work to throw it onto the streaming service. Plenty of other celebs have been coming out, like Marvel's Drax actor Dave Bautista, who says he might have seen the Snyder Cut. Given his ability to stand so still that he's invisible, he might have seen it and no one knows it. I'm sure I'm invisible. Hi, Drax. Shang-Chi star Simu Liu shared a supportive tweet as well. The Walking Dead's Robert Kirkman once said this to us. And it's very good. the Snyder Cut. The Watchmen's Damon Lindelof hopped aboard the Maybe I've Seen It train on Instagram, and former DC Entertainment president Diane Nelson is ready for Zack Snyder to drop his cut, saying so in a Twitter DM that she made public with a screenshot. You said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. At the end of the day, we still can't see the Snyder Cut of Justice League just yet, but Warner Brothers definitely hears all of the messages on social media, so the ball is now in their court. What do you think? Is it time to release the Snyder Cut, or is it time to move on? Share your thoughts in the comments section, or send them my way on Instagram and Twitter at BrandonDavisBD, and stay tuned to comicbook.com slash DC for the fastest updates. I'm BD, I'll see you there.